Have you ever wondered who the Neanderthals were and what secrets their life and culture hold? Mystery, intrigue, a dash of ancient history. Welcome to the world of Neanderthals, a species of archaic humans who roamed the earth over 40,000 years ago. Today, we're embarking on a journey of discovery, unraveling the enigmatic lives and culture of these early inhabitants of our planet. Often misunderstood, Neanderthals were not the brutish, primitive beings that we've been led to believe. In fact, they were quite the opposite. They were innovative, resourceful, and surprisingly like us. Yes, you heard that right. Neanderthals were much more similar to us, modern humans, than we ever imagined. However, the story doesn't end there. As we delve deeper into their world, we'll uncover fascinating aspects about their existence. From their artistic expressions, innovative tools, to their ritualistic burials, plant-based diets, and even their methods of communication. Each aspect of their life and culture paints a vivid picture of a species that was far ahead of its time, challenging our preconceived notions and stereotypes about them. We'll also explore the controversial topic of Neanderthals interbreeding with Homo sapiens, an area of study that has sparked heated debates in the scientific community. This intriguing facet of their history further blurs the line between us and them, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding of their lives. But why, you might ask, should we care about a species that disappeared thousands of years ago? The answer is simple. By studying the Neanderthals, we not only gain insights into our own origins and evolution, but also learn valuable lessons about adaptation, survival, and the indomitable spirit of humanity. So, get ready to embark on this exciting journey of discovery, where we'll challenge misconceptions, shed light on lesser-known facts, and decode the mysteries of the Neanderthal world. Let's dive into the world of these ancient beings and uncover the hidden truths about their life and culture. Did you know Neanderthals were artists in their own right? Indeed, these early humans were not simply brutish, club-wielding cave dwellers as they're often portrayed. Rather, they had an artistic side, quite sophisticated for their time. Evidence of Neanderthal art is found throughout the European continent, from the rock shelters of France to the caves of Spain. Their artistry was a manifestation of their intellect and creativity, demonstrating an understanding of their environment and a desire to express their place within it. One of the most fascinating discoveries of Neanderthal artistry is the cave paintings. These are not simple doodles or random markings, but intricate depictions of the world around them. They painted animals they hunted, like mammoths and horses, and even abstract geometric patterns. These paintings were no small feat, they used pigments from minerals like ochre and mixed them with animal fat to create a paste. They then applied this paste onto the cave walls using their fingers or primitive brushes made from animal hair. But what is the significance of these cave paintings? Well, they provide us with a glimpse into Neanderthal life. They tell us that Neanderthals had the cognitive ability to create symbolic representations, a trait previously thought to be unique to Homo sapiens. These paintings also indicate that Neanderthals had a complex social structure, as creating such art requires planning, cooperation, and a shared understanding of symbols. Moreover, these paintings offer a sense of Neanderthal spirituality. Some researchers believe that the animals painted were not just diet staples, but held a spiritual significance too. The geometric patterns, on the other hand, could represent abstract thoughts, further demonstrating their cognitive prowess. So, the Neanderthals were not just hunters, but artists too. Their artistry goes to show that they were a sophisticated species, capable of abstract thinking and symbolic communication. This realization helps us to better understand our early ancestors and appreciate the depth of their culture and intellect. It's a potent reminder that the story of humanity is filled with surprising twists and turns, and there's always more to learn. Contrary to popular belief, Neanderthals were not primitive in their ways. Delving into the realm of Neanderthal craftsmanship, we unearth a fascinating narrative of advanced toolmaking. Far from the crude implements often imagined, Neanderthal tools were a testament to their ingenuity and skill. They crafted a variety of tools, each with a specific purpose. From sharp pointed spears for hunting large game, to delicate, finely crafted scrapers for cleaning hides and preparing food. There was an elegance in their utility, a beauty in their functionality. The complexity of these tools suggests a sophisticated understanding of materials and their properties. Neanderthals didn't just find rocks, 
and use them as they were. They chose specific types of stone, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each. They meticulously shaped these stones into tools, demonstrating a knowledge of fracturing and flaking techniques that would have required a significant amount of skill and patience. And let's not forget the adhesives. Yes, you heard that right. Neanderthals created a type of glue from birch bark, which they used to secure their stone tools to wooden handles. This process, known as hafting, is not a simple task. It requires a precise control of temperature and an understanding of how different materials interact. It's a clear indication of their advanced cognitive abilities. Even more fascinating is the evidence suggesting that Neanderthals may have used a form of assembly line production. Multiple individuals would work together, each performing a specific task in the toolmaking process. This level of cooperation and specialization is indicative of a complex social structure. These tools were not just objects of survival, they were symbols of culture, of identity. They tell us that Neanderthals were not just surviving, but thriving. They were adapting, innovating and creating. These tools reveal the sophistication in their lifestyle and skills. So next time you hear someone use Neanderthal as an insult, remind them of the remarkable craftsmanship of our ancient cousins. Their innovative spirit lives on in us, in every tool we use, in every object we create. The Neanderthals had a deep sense of spirituality and respect for the dead. This statement may surprise some, given the often brutish image we have of our ancient cousins. However, the archaeological record tells a different, more nuanced story. Excavations across Europe and the Middle East have uncovered burial sites where Neanderthal remains are found in what appears to be intentional graves. These graves were not simply holes in the ground, but carefully constructed resting places. Some of these graves are found to be lined with stones, while others are covered with animal bones or antlers. This suggests that the Neanderthals took great care in preparing these burial sites, a task that would have required significant time and effort. Moreover, it's not just the graves themselves that indicate ritualistic burials. In some cases, the bodies were found in specific positions, often in a fetal-like posture, suggesting a deliberate arrangement. Alongside these remains, archaeologists have discovered tools, animal bones, and even flowers. These grave goods could have served a practical purpose in the afterlife, a belief in a spiritual realm, or simply reflected a desire to honor and remember the deceased. The presence of pollen grains from flowering plants at some burial sites has led some to posit that Neanderthals may have incorporated floral offerings into their burial practices. This evidence, however, is disputed, with some scientists suggesting the pollen could be the result of natural processes rather than intentional placement. Nonetheless, the fact that these burials took place at all indicates a level of cognitive complexity and emotional depth that we often do not associate with Neanderthals. They understood the concept of death and they mourned their dead, just like us. These burial rituals show us the emotional depth and cultural richness of the Neanderthals. They remind us that our ancient relatives were not so different from us, capable of complex thought, deep emotion and profound respect for their deceased loved ones. Given these insights, perhaps it's time we reassess our perceptions of the Neanderthals, not as brutish cave dwellers, but as sophisticated beings with a rich cultural tapestry. It might surprise you, but Neanderthals were not entirely carnivorous. This is a common misconception, perhaps stemming from their robust, muscular build and the harsh, icy environments in which they thrived. But recent archaeological evidence paints a much more nuanced picture of Neanderthal dietary habits. In fact, it seems they were quite the foragers. Fossilized dental plaque from Neanderthal teeth, the oldest ever to be analyzed for dietary information, has revealed traces of various plant materials. These include wild vegetables, nuts, fruits, and even grains. It appears that our prehistoric cousins were not just meat eaters, but opportunistic omnivores, much like us. Plants would have provided a readily available year-round food source, supplementing the meat obtained from hunting. This versatility in their diet would have been crucial for survival, especially during periods when game was scarce. Moreover, certain plants have medicinal properties, and it seems Neanderthals were aware of this. Evidence of certain plants with anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties, such as yarrow and chamomile, has been found in their dental plaque. This suggests that Neanderthals may have had an understanding of basic herbal medicine, using these plants to treat ailments and injuries. 
Interestingly, the consumption of cooked plant foods is also suggested. Starch granules found in the dental plaque show evidence of having been altered by cooking, hinting at the use of fire in food preparation. This not only broadens the range of foods they could consume, but also may have made the food easier to digest and the nutrients more readily available. In conclusion, the Neanderthal's diet was far more sophisticated than the stereotype of the brutish, meat-devouring caveman might suggest. They were capable of exploiting a wide range of food sources, from large game animals to tiny plant tubers, and even had a basic understanding of the medicinal properties of certain plants. So, their diet was more balanced than we originally thought. And with this revelation, we gain a greater appreciation of the adaptability and resourcefulness of these fascinating prehistoric humans. Scene script. Ever wondered how Neanderthals communicated? This is a question that has intrigued scientists and researchers for ages. It's time to delve into the fascinating world of Neanderthal language and communication. While we can't hop into a time machine and have a chat with our long lost cousins, we can make educated guesses based on archeological finds and current understanding. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Did Neanderthals have language? The answer is possibly. Some researchers argue that the complexity of Neanderthal society and their advanced tool-making techniques suggest they must have had some form of language. Furthermore, the discovery of a Neanderthal hyoid bone, a small bone in the neck that supports the tongue, was structurally similar to that of modern humans, implying they could have been capable of complex speech. However, language isn't just about speaking. It's also about expressing ideas, emotions, and passing on knowledge. And that's where Neanderthal communication really shines. Their cave paintings and symbolic artifacts indicate a sophisticated level of symbolic thought, a key component of language. They were capable of creating representations of the world around them, a clear sign of cognitive complexity. And what about body language? Well, they were social creatures, living in close-knit groups. It's highly likely they used a combination of gestures, facial expressions, and physical contact to communicate with each other, much like we do today. But what's truly fascinating is their use of sound. Some speculate that Neanderthals could have used sound to communicate over long distances. Imagine a Neanderthal standing on a hilltop, sending a message to a fellow group member miles away, using a series of rhythmic beats or calls. In the absence of concrete evidence, the mystery of Neanderthal language continues to tantalize us. Their communication methods, however, paint a picture of a species far more complex and sophisticated than we once thought. They might not have written books, but they certainly had ways to express themselves. This might be the most intriguing fact about Neanderthals. So let's dive into it. Our story begins around 60,000 years ago when Homo sapiens, that's just modern humans, started to migrate out of Africa. Here, for the first time, they encountered Neanderthals. These two species, so similar yet so different, coexisted for several millennia. Now, when two species coexist, things can get interesting especially when they're as closely related as Homo sapiens and Neanderthals were. Yes, you've guessed it, they began to interbreed. The evidence of this interbreeding is etched in our very genes. Scientists studying the human genome have found that about 1-2% to of the DNA of people with non-African descent comes from Neanderthals. That's right, if your ancestors are from Europe, Asia or the Americas, chances are you have a bit of Neanderthal in you. But it wasn't a one-way street. Evidence also suggests that Neanderthal DNA was passed back into the Homo sapiens gene pool. This genetic exchange has left its mark in surprising ways. For instance, some of us have inherited Neanderthal genes that affect our skin and hair. Others carry genes influencing our immune system and even our behavior. So, what does this tell us? It tells us that our history is not a simple linear progression from primitive to advanced. Instead, it's a complex tapestry woven from the threads of many different species, interacting, competing, and yes, even interbreeding. This intermingling of genes also challenges our ideas of what it means to be human. It's a stark reminder that we're not a separate superior entity, but part of the grand, interconnected web of life on this planet. And so, we come to the end of our journey. We've discovered that Neanderthals were not the brutish, simple creatures of popular myth, but complex beings with their own culture, technology, and genetic legacy. This interbreeding is the reason why many of us carry Neanderthal DNA in us today. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're looking at a tiny piece of our shared history, 
a testament to the intricate dance of evolution. So what have we learned about the Neanderthals? We've delved into the depths of history, brushed off the dust of ages, and illuminated the shadows of the past to uncover seven hidden facts about the life and culture of our ancient cousins, the Neanderthals. Let's take a moment to reflect upon the knowledge we've gathered. First, we uncovered the mysterious nature of Neanderthals. Far from the brutish and unintelligent caricatures we've often seen, they were complex beings with a rich and varied lifestyle. The mystery of their existence, their sudden disappearance, and our connection to them continues to captivate us. Next, we explored the artistic side of Neanderthals. They were not mere survivalists, but creators, expressing themselves through art and symbolic representation. They etched their stories into stone, painted vivid scenes on cave walls, and crafted ornamental pieces, giving us a glimpse into their minds and hearts. The third revelation was their advanced tool-making abilities. Neanderthals were not just using crude rocks and sticks. They were crafting sophisticated tools with precision and purpose. These tools reveal a level of intelligence and problem-solving ability that challenges our preconceived notions about these ancient people. We then ventured into the somber realm of Neanderthal burials. They showed respect for the dead, a trait we tend to associate with humanity. The ritualistic burials they conducted suggest that they had a concept of an afterlife, hinting at a spiritual side to their nature. Our fifth discovery took us into their dietary habits. The Neanderthals' plant-based diet supplemented with meat shows they were adept at utilizing the resources around them. They weren't just hunters but gatherers as well, revealing a balanced approach to sustenance. The sixth revelation was their language and communication. They were not silent beings, but a social species with complex vocalizations. The evidence of their speech capabilities indicates they could express thoughts, share information, and perhaps even tell stories. Finally, we learned about their interbreeding with Homo sapiens. This cross-species interaction has left a genetic legacy in modern humans, making the Neanderthals a part of us. This fact alone underscores the importance of understanding who they were. Understanding our ancient cousins, the Neanderthals, is not just about filling gaps in our historical knowledge, it's about understanding ourselves better. The more we learn about them, the more we comprehend our own origins, our capacities for survival, adaptation and creativity. It helps us appreciate the complexity of human evolution and the shared heritage that binds us all. In the grand tapestry of human history, every thread has its place, every color its significance. The Neanderthals, with their rich and varied lifestyle, their resourcefulness and their creativity, are an integral part of that tapestry. They are not a mere footnote, but a vibrant chapter in our shared story. As we continue to explore our past, let's remember to look beyond the stereotypes and misconceptions. Let's strive to understand our ancient relatives in their true light appreciating their contributions to our collective story. For in their story, we find echoes of our own, reminders of our shared past, and insights into our common future. Thank you very much for watching our documentaries. Subscribe to learn more about different times in history every single day and become the most interesting person in the room. Thank you.